Welcome back, everyone, to the League of Legends Championship Series live from Los Angeles. I'm Riving from the third, joined by X Smithy from Team Vulcan. You guys picking up a win over Cloud9, a very big win for you guys, obviously in second place, and can't change much about Cloud9's future, but you can keep yourself in a very nice spot. Coming into that game, you guys left open a few choice bans for Cloud9, like Rumble and such. What were your thoughts in the trip pick ban phase? Uh, we were just mostly scared of uh, Cassidy with the Shen. And we just banned Cassidy. And uh, we thought that they were going to ban Shen uh, like early, earlier. And that's why we just left Shen up. And we just banned Zed because mostly, or I mean, pick Zed just because that's High's like, main champion. And that's pretty much uh, snowball stuff from level 1, too. So you guys have definitely had better uh, results than most versus Cloud9, obviously coming in with a second win here. The early game aggression, is that a must to take out Cloud9? Oh, uh, definitely. And uh, the level one uh, fight that went against us, or it, it set the pace for us like till late game, and that pretty much uh, got us the win. So coming into this matchup, obviously we've talked a little bit about Super Week. You guys have way more games to play, finalizing the fourth game against the teams that you have not yet. How do you continuously come up with new strats? It's pretty much just uh, keeping uh, researching other teams and try to see their weaknesses and try to just take advantage of it. And it's pretty much Cloud9 usually is a solid team like any phase. And we just uh, take those little, little by little mistakes that they do and we try to make that as a win. And Smithy, yourself grabbing MVP last week. I'm glad I got a chance to sit with you on the couch this week. What is it about, you know, your gameplay? What is it about a jungler in general that can help you stay unpredictable in, on top of your game? It's pretty much just not mostly the jungler. It's mostly about uh, vision and try to uh, avoid wards at all times. Try to be sneaky and just wait for, like, an opportunity. And it's pretty much just that. And enough about games. You guys obviously have enough to think about and stressful games to come in the day. So just personal things. Are there, are there any things you do before a game to get yourself pumped up personally that you can share with us? Well, <clears throat> my team just uh, pulled me into this game which is like for the phone. And I, that's all I play now. And it's pretty much just uh, talking to the team, uh, doing strats and stuff. That's pretty much it. And give us a little bit of insight. We obviously see from, you know, week to week, there's a little bit of teasers saying how practice helps and how this helps and where the stress come from. What is an actual day of work like for an LCS player? It is all games and fun, but there's definitely work put in there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we scrim, like, not even eight hours a day. We only scrim, like, 46 hours. And other, the other hours, we usually uh, do uh, replays. And it takes, like, a long time to do replays because we always... Uh, check all our mistakes, try to make less and less uh, further on. And after that, we just strategize the next team that we're going against, see what bands they do, see what picks they do. How do you guys continue to have fun in each game, no matter what the outcome? Well, we pretty much play solo queue just to mostly have fun. We, we really don't take it seriously, as others do, but uh, that's where mostly our fun comes from. And how, how does solo queue go? Are there anybody, anybody in the house that specifically duos up with each other when you guys go at it? Well, uh, Bloodwater and Zuno are usually duos. And usually <laughs> me and Benny, or Psycho Sid, I mean, duos all the time. We just have fun, and uh, that's it. All right, final question for you, Smithy. Who now do you guys have your eyes set on? Obviously, there are going to all be Ws for you coming out of your, you know, your hopes. But who do you guys really have your eyes set on to give you some troubles? Uh, it's either TSM or maybe Dig. But uh, I think we're going to get a straight win for all of them. I think we're pretty sure that we're going to get at least three wins or so. All right. Well, congratulations. Still in second, keeping the wins coming in. And a very big win over Cloud9. They're definitely giving some hopes to the other teams coming up within the LCS in the summer split.